Today's lesson is on bar charts. Bar charts are used to represent data, and data is information that we gather to answer a question. As you can see here, there's a bar chart. This bar chart represents all the favorite colors of the children in class A. Their data is represented in this bar chart. So if we look at the X axis, we have colors. If we look at the Y axis, we have number of children. Our bar chart goes up by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten, which means the halfway point between each of these lines is one. So we have zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, and so on. So on the x-axis, we have all our colors. We have red, blue, green, yellow, pink. These are the colors that the children in class A voted for. Okay, all the other colors, purple, orange, they weren't voted for. Therefore, we're not representing them on our bar chart. Bar charts are used to represent data and they can help give us answers to questions we might have. Let's look at the first question here. Which color is the least popular? Least means the fewest. So we're asking about the color that the smallest amount of children voted for. So if we look on our bar chart, we can see all of these bars. Red is at eight, blue is at seven, green is at five, yellow is at nine, pink is at six. So we just have to look for the bar that is shortest, which would be green. So green is the color that least children chose. Our next question, how many children chose yellow as their favorite color? So what we need to do is look at the yellow column. And we're gonna go all the way up and see where this line meets. So it goes about halfway there, which tells us yellow is what? Nine. Our next question, how many more children chose red than blue? So they're asking us to compare the colors red and blue. So we can see that red has eight votes. We could see that blue has seven votes. So how many more children chose red than blue? We have eight minus seven equals one. One more child chose red over blue. How many children chose yellow and pink all together? When we say all together, we're looking for the total. So yellow, nine people chose yellow pink, six children chose pink. So when we add those two numbers together, we get 15. All right, now what would be a good title for the bar chart? Bar charts also need titles. So what do you think? If you said something along the lines of favorite colors of class A, you'd be on the right track. This title tells us the data that's represented, so favorite colors, and who's involved, children of class A, okay? So make sure your title reflects what your whole bar chart is representing. Okay, so let's review. In the bar chart, we have our title, so favorite colors of class A. Okay, we have our scale, that's on the y-axis, and we have all our choices on the x-axis. Okay, you have to label what your choices were and label who was asked the question, okay? And then make sure you choose a scale. So you could be going by, up by twos, you could be going up by ones, okay, it depends on what data we have and we have to find the most appropriate scale. Okay, so we're going to try out a few activities and if you have any questions you can find us on Seesaw.